Hello, David Zritsky for The Bond Experience. Welcome back. This is a quick one, but I had to show this because I always find it interesting when you're walking through a mall or a store, or just let's call it out in the wild, in, in the non-Bond human world, as everybody else likes to call it, and suddenly you come upon something Bondish, a license piece that you had no idea that there it was out there. And, and, and this is an example of one of those. Urban Outfitters, perhaps you're familiar with them. It is a very hip, cool store of very reasonably priced clothing. Uh, I wouldn't call them a luxury brand. They're a nicer brand, just think one level up from Gap, uh, maybe around the J. Crew, uh, slightly under J. Crew level. All right, now you've got the coordinates. But if you don't know Urban Outfitters, you can check them out. But they came out with a Bond line. Yes, 007 line that has a very vintage look and appeal to it. It has uh, some sweatshirts that have a vintage appeal. It has uh, shirts that have a vintage appeal. It's got some interesting hats. It's got clothing, but there was one piece, one piece that stood out to me that said, that looks like something that you would pick up in the 1980s from a Roger Moore era. And it just screamed fun, campy nostalgia to me. And it looked like something from Octopussy. And I wanted to show it to you. So here it is. It's just, um, you can even hear it, all right? It's a simple kind of windbreaker. The windbreakers were very, very popular in the 1980s when I was a little, a little mushroom. Um, but you can see it's got the little cinched sleeves on it. It's got a very simple drawstring on the bottom. You've got the little popper buttons. You've got the interior, but check this out. Now we're nice and close here. You can see this. Let's get rid of that hanger, David. How about that? Look at that, 007, period correct, in collaboration with 007, and it's got all the different trademarks. So this is an official piece, but here we go. The color of it is something that you would see from the Roger Moore era, almost like the, um, the jacket he wears, the octopusy jacket that he uses as another disguise in the movie Octopussy. So windbreaker, 1980s looking, color, but, this is where it really gets crazy nostalgia. Look at the back. And I hope this is picking up. James Bond is back, 007. And of course it has, which is not very Roger Moore, it's got the DB5 on there, but just even that, that the logo and the font and the color on this just look like something that you would buy in the 1980s. And I get it, I get it. All you hip kids that are under 52, um, <laughs> 1980s is very hip, Stranger Things made it probably even hipper. But to me, this just said, you gotta pick it up. And then it was on sale. What? Yeah, so I, I had to do it and I figured I'd show it to you, but look at this. So this is a size small. Again, I am a 41 chest, 31 inch waist. I'm about 5'9", and you can see where this falls. This is just a windbreaker. This is, you know, there's a little chill in the autumn air, a little bit of moisture out. You know, it's not quite just short sleeve weather. Okay, you get, you get the picture when you would wear a windbreaker. Uh, some people call it a wind cheater, uh, depending on what hemisphere you are. It's got this kind of um, P, because I know that's the name of the brand that Urban Outfitters had uh, do the collaboration. I don't mind it too much. It's a little crazy, because you know my name doesn't start with P, but there you go. But check this out. Look at the back. That is just so vintagey and so nostalgic. I am digging it. And then it's got these kind of side pockets. Look, this is not this is not a sexy jacket. This is not like, you know, a Harrington or something like that that you're going to go out and be like, oh, I'm just Mr. Cool. Not that I ever do that because I'm the polar opposite. But it's just fun. If you're in the mood for something Fun, and you just want to have a little bubblegum moment from a nostalgic standpoint, you could do worse than spend, I think this wound up costing me like $40, $45 with the sale and, and with some sort of coupon. So super reasonable. We'll leave the link down below. Hopefully they're still available when this thing airs, but I just had to show it to you because I love finding things out in the wild that you just don't expect. And this was one of them. All right. So even though 007 is back, he's not. Um, we're going to be going. Uh, this has been David Zaritsky for The Bond Experience. I'll see you real soon. Take care. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be 
up on the latest from the Bond experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you just because we know you. Talk to you soon.